Hello everyone. I'm gonna try to do a kiss pour with some resin. I'm using the Tea Expert 4 Hour Demold resin. And I'm using the Chameleon powders in the colors Grape and Champagne. And I'm gonna try and do a kiss pour with it. I'm gonna be using this jar mold has a lot of detail on the inside of the mold. Very cute. I'm excited to see what it turns out like. And I'm gonna stir this for about five minutes. And then I will let it sit for the bubbles to come out. I'm um, not gonna make you sit here and watch me stir this for five minutes so I will speed ahead and I also separate it into two cups and mix in my colors I'll just let you watch it's actually it's so much fun to do resin I was so afraid of doing resin and then once I started doing it I fell in love with it and I love, love, love <laughs> doing resin. And it's not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. And some of the things aren't, you know, a challenge, of course. And you have to learn. And, you know, it's always fun to practice. So, <clears throat> but I love the way the resin pours and the different things you can do with it and I like to mold um, which I actually want to try I have a large tray mold that I'd love to make a bowl out of and I have done it with the with resin um, coaster molds I've made little trinket bowls out of them by molding the resin while it was still soft. So much fun. I love doing that. So I just showed you the colors of the grape and the champagne and I'm going to separate the resin into two cups and then we'll get started. Also, if you are unsure about doing resin and you're thinking about it, I say give it a try. Try it out. See how you feel about it. Just make sure you use all your safety precautions. Um, I wear a respirator when I'm mixing my resin. I wear a respirator whenever I'm dealing with uh, mica powders. So as long as you follow all your safety precautions and your manufacturer's um, directions, you'll be just fine and you may find that you absolutely love doing resin like i found <laughs> oh it's a total joy and i've never done a kiss pour before with resin so i thought it would be fun to give it a try because these chameleon powders make the most beautiful resin pieces so I will stop talking now and I'll let you watch.
So at this point, I realized that I was going to be a little short on resin. So instead of taking eight ounces of resin, it actually took eight and a half ounces. <laughs> so I ended up having to mix up. Um, I actually ended up mixing up two ounces. So I had a little bit left over and I, um, I always keep like some kind of mold that I can pour any extra resin into. So I happened to have a ball mold and that was half full. So what I did, ended up not using or nading for this jar mold, I ended up pouring into that ball and it ended up filling the rest of the ball up So I ended up just using grape, uh, the chameleon powder of grape, and filling up the molds with a little heart for the love of resin. <laughs> oh, I knew they wouldn't stay there, but you know, why not have fun with it while you're finishing it up, right? <laughs> so. All right, so I'm going to cover them up, and now we're going to mold them. And let me tell you, <laughs> this can be a funny part, because sometimes these molds just don't want to give, and it's really a battle. <laughs> and you just have to keep messing with it and keep messing with it, and... I swear I thought I was going to rip a couple of my nails off trying to get it to roll down for me. <laughs> but I was able to get it. And I love this jar. Uh, hopefully here soon. I'm manhandling it. <laughs> Without ripping my nails off. It's a struggle. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. Woohoo. Adorable. Absolutely love it. Look at the glittery, glittery of the chameleon powder. And it mixed together really cool. Lots of different color in it. Oh, super happy with it. And the lid comes off quite a bit easier. And I'll show you here in a second. I was uh, very glad that I did a little bit of an overpour on the lid while I'm struggling to get it out here. <laughs> it really wasn't that hard to get the lid off. But, um, there we go. Super cute. Super cute. But it was the lid I did a little bit of an overpour on, which was perfect because it gave it a little bit of a lip that makes it stay on the jar nicer. Such a beautiful little dish. I love all the little detail on it. Really cool. It's going to become a part of my coffee table decor. I'll show you here in just a second. I'm super happy with it. Very pretty. This would be a perfect little gift for a grandchild or a niece or a girlfriend. Super cool. I have it sitting on my coffee table. Absolutely love it. Turned out so cute. 
I love how the light hits it and it shines a bunch of different colors. I know it's probably hard to see in this little video, but it really has a lot of different color in it and it just sparkles. It's so pretty. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining Tanya and I for our new resin collab. And we'll see you all in the next one.